this little video is a how-to video for my new product that's coming out probably within the next week it's uh, holiday themed putts houses and there are three houses in the set you can see on screen here um, a picture of all three of them we have a pumpkin house a bat house and some of you may be familiar with my peppermint house I've added a few little extra details and I'll get into that in a few minutes but there's your example so this is for newbies on how to get the SVG files into Cricut Design Space and prep them for use so when you download or when you purchase the files you download the zip there will be in a zip file download them to your computer and unzip them and then inside all of them you will find a uh, folder that has SVG at the end these are your working files excuse me <clears throat> and um, then there will be will be a photo of all three houses there's instructions and inside the instructions you have a, uh, a diagram of all of the pieces and what they are so that you can ident identify them there's a PDF here with instructions it has a lot of other information that isn't in the video so you'll want to look at that right away. You can print that, that PDF off if you want to. And then there'll be additional photos for finishing so you can see the different options that are available in the file. So the first thing you want to do is open Cricut Design Space. And then once you do that, let me move that out of the way, click on New Project. You'll get a blank screen. And then go to, on the far left side, Upload. Click that. And then you'll want to click Upload Image. And you can either drag the file in here or you can browse your computer for it. I'm going to just drag it in there. And that part is off the screen. But here's the first file <clears throat> that I want to use. So I'm going to just drag it over there. Then I'm going to click Continue at the bottom. Then I'm going to click Upload because we don't need to do anything here. And here is the file. Now, <clears throat> Cricut at Design Space has had some different upgrades. And um, each time they do that, it kind of messes with the file size. Sorry, I had to get a drink of water there. <clears throat> I'm kind of struggling with my voice today. And um, for some reason, Sometimes files come in at the right size, sometimes they don't. In the PDF file, there is a list of each part or each file for every house with the dimensions that it should be listed on it. And I need to find my little paper here real quick. So what you're going to have to do is, sorry about that, thought I was prepared here and I wasn't. Okay, <clears throat> is resize this when it comes up. And what I've done is instead of having you upload every single little piece one by one, I've grouped several items and so you can just upload it at once. You can ungroup it and you will be able to work with each little piece individually once you get it into design space. So as you can see right now, if you pull on this, it's grouped. And we're going to leave it grouped for this part. You don't want to ungroup it right away. So we're going to go up here to where it says size. And there's a little lock. I'm going to click on that little lock. That unlocks it. And then in your width, if you'll look in, if when you look in your PDF file to get the sizes, the little house and base set should be 10.78. So 10.78 for the width and the height is 8.95 once I get that set click that lock closed so now this is in the right size so at this point and if you look over here to the right you'll see it says group and then here is the the house there's another group all these little things are all the little pieces so we want to right click and choose ungroup 
So now everything is separate into groups. And you can look at each thing one at a time if you want. So I'm going to open all this up. And I'm going to click outside. Now you can see that things are separate. And you can work with them separately. So this little, these little circles, these are the backs for the peppermints for the windows. We don't need to do anything with that. Any place there's score lines, you're going to have to change them to score lines. You can see this; these two pieces are still group. Right click, ungroup. Now they're separate. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see these solid lines. These are all, um, should be changed to score lines. And a lot of times how you can tell that if you look on this right side, if you're not familiar with the project, you'll see down here basic cut. This is the uh, base down here. When you click on these main titles, it'll pull up the piece so you'll know which piece you're working on. So you can see here, this is obviously a rectangle shape. <clears throat> and then this is a piece that isn't. That's going to be your score lines. So you want to highlight that come over to your left and where it says operation basic cut you want to click and pull that drop menu down and click score and now if you look at this piece you'll see dotted or dashed lines sorry those are dashes trees and not dots <clears throat> so now we know that we have our score lines once you do that you need to select that whole entire piece which you can do like I just did or you can come over here and select that, which you should already have selected. Hold your shift key and select that too. Now you've got both these pieces, the, the cut piece and the score line selected. And come down to the bottom right and click attach. Same thing on this piece. Let's open that up. Here's your, part, your piece and here is your score line. So we're gonna click on the score line, go to operation, change it to score and then we're going to hold our shift key choose this part and click attach and you'll want to do that for each piece where you see the lines where there's possibly score lines so we're going to choose that go to score choose that now the whole piece is selected and attach same thing on the house over here Again, this is a really good example. Here's the shape, and here are some lines. So you know this is the score lines. So click on that, change it to score, hold your shift key, select everything, and attach. So now, everything is attached. If you don't do that attached, when you go to make it, Cricut will put the score line on a on a sheet of paper by itself separate from the item so you've got to make sure that you change the lines to score lines and then you click the attach and then you're ready to go now if you click make it oh, I want you to save it I forgot about that so let's save it you can give it a title I'm just gonna put testing and then you can create a new collection if you want to to add this to a collection and I'm gonna click save. Okay, it automatically went over to make. So Cricut will automatically line all these separate pieces up on your sheet to save you space. I normally will mess with it a little bit because I don't like the pieces being that close together. It sometimes causes an issue with cutting so I like to kind of change things around. And sorry if you can hear the mowing. Maybe we have a neighbor mowing. And then it's ready to cut. So I'm gonna click cancel. Now, if you want to add items together and set them up to cut to your own preferences, you can move your pieces around. Whoops. Like 
this. Now select everything and then you can right click and choose group and choose attach. And now when you go to make, it's set up exactly like I laid it out, laid the pieces out. So that's up to you, however you want to do that. I tend to do this so that I know exactly where everything is. The other thing that you might want to know about is one of the other, let me get rid of this. And let me go back to upload again. Now I've already uploaded this, but with the pumpkin house, it has some print and cut parts to it. So I'm gonna pull one of those in. I'll just do this piece right here. And I'm gonna add it to canvas. You would upload that just like you did the others. Let me check this. So this one needs to be changing the size on this. Now this one came up right. So this is our print cut. Once you upload, upload it, if you look to your right, it says print then cut. So when you go to upload or to make this, you'll click on make and you can move it around if you want. But when you click continue, it will come up and say print you can send it to printer. I don't want to go through this whole process because I've already printed it. And then you can choose to print it with your, um, either by, with Cricut or you can print it with your own printer software. I tend to print with my own printer software. But that will actually print that out, then you put it on your machine. Your machine will follow these those score lines you saw right here. Are, um, oh gosh, I forget what they're called. But anyway, it'll <clears throat> then cut it out for you. And that's the only thing different in these files is we there are a couple of the print and cut files. I tend to print those on a heavy, just plain white, heavyweight cardstock, like a 100 pound cardstock. So that's it. Once you get all of your parts in, pulled in, then your file should look like this and I will scroll out so you can see. So here's the pumpkin house and you can see here are some print and cut file here and a print and cut file here and all of the other pieces. And like this, for instance, I've left grouped because it's shingles. And that's all there is to it. Just save it so you know where it is to your buy stuff, and you're ready to go. So that's it. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to get in touch with me. And now we're going to head into the how-to vi videos where you can see me building all three um, houses. And that will be a kind of a sped up little thing. They're all built and basically the main structure is built in the same way. So you really, I didn't really do much voiceover in um, the build part. So we'll head to that part now. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.